Good morning, friends. Today I am bringing you along on a get it all done style video. I was sick for many days last week and so housework has been kind of abandoned. I need to just get a few more spring like cleaning tasks done. So first thing on my list, and yes, I did make a list because I am all about keeping those lists. And if they don't always get done during the day, it's not the end of the world, but I do like to have a generic outline of what I'd like to accomplish for the day. So first off, washing the cloth diapers. So I go about every two days, two, three days in washing those. So that is on the list to do along with some other household things. Um, moving some things from a shelf in the garage to the other side because my husband's going to take down a whole shelving unit off of our east side of our garage to move out and then we'll have more space in our garage we have a lot in our garage but yet we don't so it's just a little crowded with the shelving in there he used to have his amazon business some storage in there uh, but now that he has a warehouse we don't need all that shelving so then also do just like some normal homemaking things some regular cleaning a little more nitty gritty cleaning as well but i just wanted to bring you along today as we do a little catch up on some housework <laughs> Alright, my next task on my to-do list is to clean out some of my kitchen cupboards and drawers. This is going to be a, a multiple days task. So I've done this every so often. I try to wipe them down if I see they're a little gritty or grody. And like a, last week I took out my silverware and just wiped that drawer out and vacuumed it out. That took about 10 minutes. Super easy to do. But I want uh, to do a few more, get them wiped out and cleaned out. Cause that's just something that we kind of miss and somehow a ton of crumbs often seem to get in those drawers. So I'm going to do a few drawers right here and maybe one or two of these cupboards today. I'm going to start with our junk drawer, which really we maintain pretty well. It stays for the most part relatively clean. I thrifted this a long time ago and then I put labels on the inside. That's been really helpful, but this is still very dirty on the inside. So we're just gonna wipe it out. So very simple, just to take it all out and get it clean. Okay, there you have it. 10 times better. It just is wiped out a little bit cleaner. Got rid of a few pencils, some of our sticky tabs that were not sticky anymore. I really like having just this little box for mail stuff in here. And then I use vintage stamps. I'll just show you one. So I just, um, we have a bunch downstairs. Well, for Christmas, I use those Christmas ones, but like these vintage stamps that you just have to glue on because um, we got them at a garage sale for super cheap. So. That's all there. We like having just a chapstick out here in the kitchen, scissors, voila, much easier. Okay, next drawer. This one won't take long. It's just our towels and napkins and dishcloths. So just to probably wipe this one down here. Okay, this is my bag storage drawer. These are always hard to know how to organize these but like my quartz sandwich bags gallons plastic wrap um, rolling pin is in there for some reason but this is again gonna be easy to clean out so just very quick and simple um, 
Maybe I'll think of a better organization way for this, but it works for what I've got. All right, here is this drawer. These type of drawers are always a little bit tricky to organize. Um, and I feel like gunk always gets stuck on these little mesh liners. So I'll probably just take this stuff out here and shake out the liner and call that good and maybe vacuum it out. But um, I don't have too much in here. I have two utensil drawers, one right here and then one over here by my stove, like the things I'd use by the stove um, more so here. That's more the baking one over on the other side. Okay, so much better organization here. Uh, I got rid of our steak knives there, moved them. Um, just a few things I'm not gonna have anymore. I've never used this, it was given from a friend, but I've never used it. I don't need a mushroom brush, I accidentally ordered that instead of potato brush. And honestly, I found this thrifted and I just, I don't use it. I just slice them with a knife. So, it just looks much nicer. I can see everything a lot better too. All right, so speaking of the other utensil type drawer, we're gonna try to reorganize that. I've added a few extra pieces since I've last organized this. So, like this, just so big, but I like it and I just, I'm probably gonna move a few things around and figure out what I don't use anymore. All right, so just a little bit dirty. I had this colored liner under it and then put this non-stick, just taped it. It didn't work too great, but I just need to wipe this out and put a few things back in. So I'm gonna move um, over to our little fixture upper. I'm gonna give like a pizza cutter over there, a little knife I had in there, a meat thermometer, just a few things that I don't need multiples of. So, and then the rest of it, like this cake decorating knife, I will probably put that downstairs with my cake decorating stuff. The rest of it I think will stay. I think. <laughs> okay, so this is much more organized and it's clean. So I just kind of rearranged a little bit. I was even able to get our steak knives in there. Um, I just didn't use everything. So yay, I like being able to see everything laid out. <laughs> All right, so it's already lunchtime. I am gonna reheat up some sourdough pizza I had made yesterday. So, um, I had chicken, barbecue chicken pineapple, and then just a regular marinara. So that's gonna be lunch with some salad, and then it'll be girls' nap. And then I need to get to doing the garage, hopefully, at nap time. diapers are washed. I'm going to fold them real quick while girls are napping and it's such a beautiful sunny day. It's only supposed to be mid 30s but I think I'm going to wait for my husband to get back um, to clean out the garage and we might work on that together a little bit while the girls are outside after their nap. But I'm going to fold these. Um, I might just relax a little bit. might start editing this video to be honest or clean out some more kitchen cupboards. So what you see next is unbeknown to me. <laughs> Okay, so actually what I decided to do next is to just clean out um, our bins a little bit. They're not too bad. I clean them out before every grocery shopping trip and we're kind of running low already. 
Um, so my husband will go midweek this week. There's a dirt in there, and I still have garden carrots in there because they last so long in there. But just to kind of take inventory of what we have, um, and I need to make a grocery list too because I want to have a few more things on hand. I have a um, surplus of like canned goods and stuff downstairs that I've canned myself as well and in the freezer, but it's a good idea, I think, just to wipe this out um, on our two week basis before every shopping trip. So I'm gonna do just a quick cleanup of that. So I got my fridge quickly cleaned out that took five minutes. So now I'm um, looking at my pantry cupboard and then I'm gonna check my pantry downstairs. Okay, so this is some of our pantry. It's not super organized. This was where all my um, produce was after the summer harvest of like potatoes and onions and such. So I'm gonna just set these here. By the way, these are really good from Aldi. We had a friend pick those up for us. Um, so we're going on pickled beets, but I want to get some regular beets. These were, I don't really use canned corn because I have like 20 bags of corn in the freezer. Um, I make jellies, as you can see, I make a lot of those, so I'm not worried about that. I don't need pickles, but you know, like I said, I need some more beans. I know that. And I always have coconut milk on hand. Um, I stock up on mustards when they're on sale at our local grocery store, which I will take you to today because I know they have some sales on like some pasta and a few other things. So um, let's see what else. Oh, flowers. I usually get, I guess what's on sale, like a whole wheat flour from our local store. And then I get einkorn flour from Young Living. I got plenty of those, but I need some white flour I think and then I've got some oats here we've got some coffee back there plenty of peanut butter because we have a new one upstairs that's our brand new olive oil too I always have plenty of that and I've got a big thing of coconut oil left there and a big one upstairs I need to order some more red bin sea salt that is for sure and then yeah we have plenty of peaches because I don't go through as fast as I thought I will need some more, we have what, three salsas? I need some more marinara sauce too, so I'll have to write all that down in two bags of chips. So, um, yeah, just a few things I'll go make my list for. Okay, so my local grocery store started putting their ads on Facebook instead of mailing them out. I loved the mailed out ads, because it was so nice to just flip through. But, so I'm looking here and seeing what I would get here. Um, this is like all the fresh produce, more stocked up goods, like um, rice, I get that. And I don't really buy a lot from our store because it gets rather expensive. But yeah, for sure the rice, um, maybe some applesauce because Nadia is loving applesauce right now. Um, and then I know they had some fresh produce on sale that I'll probably get. <laughs> We've already made some progress, but this is the shelving that he's got to take down because he's going to use it um, to put some of his novelty items at an antique store. So we're removing all our unorganized stuff right now off of there to this side, which is not organized either. So that'll probably be another day project. For now, we're just moving. 
my husband's shaking his head. Yeah, it just, garages get messy, even with not a lot of stuff, just unorganized. We're making progress. Here's the shelf so far. We've actually been getting rid of some other stuff on the other side, which has been really helpful. And I've just been moving things to the garden shed for some of my garden things that I just didn't need in here. So it's coming along. I had to put this little one in the carrier because she's getting fussy sitting in the stroller. But it'll be nice to have some space when this all gets done, which you won't see in this video. I'm really excited for this one. My turn to get a lick? Yeah. Ice cream. Mm hmm. Dad makes the ice cream. Yum, there is the ice cream. That'll be for after supper. I hope you enjoyed coming along today on this kind of get it all done homemaking day in the life. I'm going to enjoy some ice cream and some tea, uh, warm and hot I guess, and enjoy my family for the rest of the evening. And so hope you enjoyed, like I said, just seeing what I we did today and getting things done. Have a blessed and wonderful day.